Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature for the given curve at any point D and the equation is given in the parametric form. As a first step, we have to find dx by dt. Its differentiation is A is a constant, we keep separately. Cos t is minus sin t plus log tan t by 2 is 1 by tan t by 2 and tan differentiation is secant square so secant square t by 2 and t by 2 differentiation is by chain rule 1 by 2 now everything we have to change in terms of sin and cos so the first term is written as it is tan t by 2 can be written as sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 into this is 1 by cos square t by 2 because secant square is 1 by cos square and we also have 1 by 2 we can cancel this cos t by 2 and this square so finally in the denominator we have 2 into sin t by 2 into cos t by 2 we have a basic formula sin x is 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 so the denominator can be written as sin t so finally we have a into minus sin t plus 1 by sin t. So, we take LCM. So, dx by dt is a into we have LCM as sin t minus sin square t plus 1. And in the numerator, 1 minus sin square t is cos square t. So, a cos square t by sin t. Then, we have y as a sin t. So, from this, we can find dy by dt, which is a into cos t. Now, let us find dy by dx. This can be found by dividing dy by dt by dx by dt. So, this is a cos t by a cos square t by sin t, but that sin t can be written here. So, a a we can cancel, cos and square we can cancel. So, sin t by cos t is tan t. Now, we need second derivative that is d square y by dx square tan differentiation is secant square but we are doing with respect to x so we have to write dt by dx and dt by dx we have here dx by dt this is our dx by dt so we have to take its reciprocal so this will become secant square t into dx by dt is a cos square t by sin t. So, now I have to take its reciprocal sin t by a cos square t. Now, again you can rewrite this as the secant square t is 1 by cos square t and we also have sin t by a cos square t. So, totally this is 1 by a into sin t by cos power 4t. Now, coming to the radius of curvature formula, rho is 1 plus dy by dx whole square and for that whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by d square y by dx square. So, this is 1 plus dy by dx is tan t. We have dy by dx whole square. So, tan square t whole power 3 by 2 whole division 1 by a into sin t by cos power 4t. Numerator 1 plus tan square t is secant square t. So, secant square t 
whole power 3 by 2 and these two term will go to the numerator as a into cos power 4 t then whole divided by sin t. So here we can cancel these two. So we left with secant cube t. If I take it to the denominator we get cos cube t and in the denominator we also have sin t and in the numerator we have a cos power 4t. We can cancel cos cube and this power 4. We left with a into cos t by sin t and therefore the radius of curvature we get is a into cot t.